Welcome back to Vikings Connected. My name is Chris Hockey. That's Aaron Newberg. And Aaron, it's time for your very favorite segment. It is. I can't get enough of the Purple Pups brought to you by North Memorial Health. This week, it's our general manager, Rick Spielman, and his pups. You guys ready to go? You ready to go for a walk? Ah. All right, let's go. All right, now we just walk. <laughs> My dad growing up always took our dogs for a walk. So I just got, kind of did the same thing. He always said the dogs, you know, just like you exercise, think the dogs need exercise too. And then I start feeling guilty if I didn't do it. Hey, let's go. <laughs> First dog we took in was Una. And Una has one ear, a Mexican rescue dog, and she is probably the prissiest and thinks she is better than all the other dogs. So she will try to pull that card out on the other ones since she's older than them. Um, but very loving, uh, very scared of storms. Um, she is the one that probably gets the privilege to sleep at the bottom of our bed. She will not let any of the other ones come close or near to that. <laughs> So, but she thinks she's the alpha male. Show them what we do. What do we do when we get to the corner? Huh? I don't even, do, cozy, what are you supposed to do? Thank you. Okay, let's go. Cozy was our next dog. She uh, used to look like the Geico pig. She had a really tiny head and a really big body and we put her on a little bit of a diet she is probably the most, looks the most gentle, but probably the one that has a little bit of uh, issues as far as being scared and nervous around people. But she's been a great dog. She is probably as close to her brother Bones, way more closer than she is to Una, uh, because there's a lot of rival sisterhood in that area. Come on, Bones. And then uh, Bones, Bones was the third one we took in. Uh, he's a boxer, hound mix. He's probably 100 pounds now. Ready? Okay, let's go. We got him when he was about seven pounds and they found him on the streets. And that's how he got his name because you can count all of his ribs. Um, he would be maybe a Hall of Fame therapy dog loves people, he's by your feet all the time. Uh, no matter what you're doing, he wants to be there and be involved. For Bones, I think, he was with an accountant during like accountant season, we fostered him. His accountant's like, he can't be alone, the dog can't. And he's like, cause he seriously likes to be right next to you. Yeah. Even when like, Rick's getting ready for work, he sits in the closet and yeah. it's weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when he brought him here and I was like, gosh, this is a really nice dog. I'm like, I'm gonna keep this dog. I didn't want three dogs, but when I had him around, for he's really just a good dog, yeah. yeah. Oh, my, oh, the one when... Uh, I saw when he grabbed the bananas oh, when yeah. he got home from Costco and he was running across the front lawn, lawn with a bunch of bananas. The neighbors called us. <laughs> they were like, what's he doing? I'm like, uh... He just goes through the groceries. Yeah, he's... He, he probably has one with the most, you know, character and stories. He makes his presence known every day. As big and as scary as he looks, he's probably the most gentlest, kindest dog we've ever had. Ready? Okay, go. I think it's, you know, it goes back to, I think who me and my wife are from the adoption of the children. Uh, and then there's so many of those dogs out there that do need a home as well. I'm not trying to compare them to, to our kids, but I think it, it, it starts with my wife and the, the size of heart she has. And uh, those are the dogs that I don't know what happens to them if they don't find a home and it gives us an opportunity uh, to give them a chance to have a chance. And they're the greatest dogs ever, because usually the, the rescue dogs that we get and all the rescue dogs that we have taken in have been the, the, the best dogs around the kids, the greatest family dogs, and probably the most loving dogs we've had. 